everybody, as I said, I'm gonna go into this topic of artificial intelligence, but now more of equality of humans and robots. Ooh, this is really what I'm passionate about. I really want to research on this. Well, this is impossible for now. Like, it's mostly in sci-fi movies, but you know, it's fun to take a look at this. Equality of humans and AI. That's better. Equality of humans and AI. So I'm gonna tell you about this topic, but in order to start this, I want to start with a simple question that we kind of talked about in LOI read one, so in my first video, which is, what makes us humans? Oops, what makes, uh, I'm gonna write that more to the side. That's more of a starting question, so it's not that important. What makes us humans? Well, I would say that this is because they interact, so interaction and empathy. Well, um, I want to say this. Does robots like do interactions and empathy? And if they did, would they be alive? Would they be sane or equal to humans? Or would they even deserve rights? Well, rights. Well, um, robot rights is something that I was looking for. Robot, um, I mean, robot rights. Robot rights. Yeah. But in order to know what robot rights is, I want to know what rights are. This is something that humans deserve. They deserve it. So like they deserve to get rights because um, this is because they are able to suffer. Humans are able to suffer. Suffer does not mean like only feel pain, but to be aware of it. So to be more like kind of like easy, it means like you when you step on something, oh wait, no, something else. So someone, your classmate maybe, punched you. He punched you like really hard. You feel pain, right? It'll hurt, unless you're a monster, but it'll hurt, right? You'll feel pain, but you'll, you'll feel pain, but you'll also be aware of this. You will feel like, how could you do this to me? I cannot believe you've done this. You'll feel this feeling, so this means you're being aware of something. Being aware connects to consciousness. I talked about this in the Super AI. Consciousness means that you're aware of something, and this means that you know your existence. So you know that you're alive and you know you in this world. You know your existence in the world. So this means what like this is what conscious means. But I want I came across the question does robots well humans deserve rights, right? Then does robots deserve rights? I sent out the survey to my school. Yeah to my whole school. And I asked this question, does robots deserve rights? Do you know what they answered? Most of them was no. They said humans are special and that's why humans deserve rights. And um, But AI is emotionless. They cannot have any feelings or they cannot do anything just like humans does. So no. These were what they said. But some scientists are trying to warn us that AI could be dangerous. Um, scientists like Elon Musk said that um, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. You know what nukes mean? They mean like nuclear, like nuclear bomb. Elon Musk. There's also Stephen Hawking. You probably know Stephen Hawking. He's really famous. Stephen Hawking said that AI is the worst event in history, like in, in human history. AI is the worst event in history. Do you know why they say this? They said, I said, they meant to warn people. But humans or like other scientists don't actually like take this really seriously. Do you know why, is, why they do that? This is because they don't, oops, don't 
want to admit AI is smarter. So um, they think that they are smarter than AI and they don't want to admit. They don't want to think that AI is better than them. So they just keep making, keep making without just like, um, without just thinking that the AI could take over the world. Take over the world. Um, I want to define take over the world or what that means. So just take over the world. Um, I'm not sure Stephen Hawking and Elon Musk, I'm sure, I'm sure that Elon Musk and Stephen Hawking didn't mean robots walking around in the street. But let me draw a picture. So let's say this is a robot. This is a robot and this is a human. You're walking around the street and you meet a robot. It's not this. They don't mean this. But I think they mean more like our dependency, humans, dependency on AI. So they mostly mean, I believe, in my way, in my way of perspective, in my way of understanding, I think they mean the dependency on AI. So it's making us cannot, like, cannot live without AI. So we're too dependent on AI. I explained this in the last video, digital assistants. I'm, I'm afraid that I'll be too dependent on AI. And in the future, I cannot live without AI. And that will be kind of a problem. So I don't want to sink into that that much. So this is the whole thing that I wanted to explain to you, equality of humans and robots. And I want to tell you, you should be very careful and aware of AI and its rapid growth and its effects on humanity because AI or technology is growing really fast and it could affect humans in many different ways, good or bad. And um, if that conflict will happen, robots taking over the world, it will be very soon, so we have to act fast. Because robots are not coming. They're already here. Thank you.